Big question. Sure. Hey, sorry, Dan. I'm John. John. Um, yeah. Cool. Um, so, in terms of interest, some people make interest into a hobby and hobby into like business. a career. Uh, yeah, business. Mm. What are your thoughts on that? Because I have like a lot of different weird hobbies and also interests, and I don't know where to go with that. So I'm 19. Um, I try to do this freelancing stuff, but I, I think it's way too common in terms of like photography and like videography stuff. So don't know where to go from there. Kind of stuck. What's your goal? What's my goal? Yeah. Well, I, that's the thing. I don't have a goal, and I'm, I'm lost in terms of finding that goal. Because you said start with a skill. Like, yeah, I can just find a skill that I enjoy developing, but in terms of goal, I don't really have that. Unless, like, my goal is to, you know, be the best at that one thing, which is, like... Why you wake up in the morning? Tangible. Why do I wake up in the morning? What motivates you? That's a good question. I mean, like, I don't know what motivates me, wouldn't, but... Wouldn't I that do... be a good question to start off with? Yeah, that's true. Before you do anything else, right? What if I can't figure that out? Or yeah. what if I've been attempting to, but I can't, like, figure that out? I think for anybody, like yeah. Yeah, an example, at, it, if I was your age at 19 years old, yeah. uh, my why was my mom. Right. Okay. I needed to take care of my mom. There was no hobby. There was no anything else except taking care of my mom. That becomes my sole focus. Right. And that gave me a lot of clarity in life because I put that ahead of anything else. Right. So. Maybe sometimes I notice I don't know enough about my family, right? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, sometimes comfort may not be such a good thing. That's a thing because I've been so. I know I'm very lucky because I'm from Malaysia, right? You know, I was lucky enough to come over here and start to study. And the whole thing that, like, you know, just my dad always telling me like what he had to go through to put me here. It's kind of making me like, oh, instead of feeling like okay, I need to give back, but it's more like wow, I'm too comfortable. Yep. And I. Yeah. Usually, because I notice when oh, people don't okay. figure what they want to do, yeah. usually because they haven't experienced enough pain. Uh, Life is good, it's comfortable. The only pain I've been through is like physical pain. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. about pain. Yeah, right. right? And so when, when you experience pain, you will know life is precious. Then you won't fuck around. Yeah, okay, fair enough. When I say precious, meaning when my, when my dad passed away, when they got divorced, when I was in debt, all these things right. at a young age, it tells me, you know, I don't, sometimes you don't know what you want. It's very good to figure out what you don't want. Right. What I know I don't want is I don't want to struggle. I want to be able to take care of the people I love. Right. So that gave me a lot of care of I feel like I should just put myself in debt. So like, I know what Not that necessary. Looks. <laughs> Not right, necessarily. Yeah. But then when you are, so example, uh, yeah. your mom and dad together? Yeah, they're fine. Okay, they're good, right? They're good. Just paint a picture in your mind, hypothetically. Yep. It's, it's gonna be dark, but okay, okay. yeah. <laughs> Suddenly your dad can't support you anymore. Yep, I'll be sent back home. Uh, and then your mom is sick, she's in hospital. Uh, but your dad can't support you anymore because your mom is sick, she and he can he can't even provide the best health care for your mom. Yeah. What would you do? I think do what I'm already doing now, but just develop it further than I already, yeah. Okay. And, and would, you, would you still kind of, well, I'm not so sure, but what I'd like, <laughs> okay. or would you say, I don't give a shit. Just do what's already working and just grow from there. Isn't that like, give you more clarity if you think of okay, it that yeah. way? But think of that, it has not happened. It's right, a hypothetical okay, yeah. scenario. Thank God. <laughs> but what if it happens? What if? Nothing pains a son more when your family needs help, desperate needs help, you cannot help them. There's yeah. nothing with pain. You, you will remember that for the rest of your life. And if your mother passed away because as a lack of ambition early on in your part, because as a son, you didn't develop the ability, you fucked around, you will not forgive yourself. Yeah. And you would look at things very differently from now on. And you'll become a, an extraordinary person. Think about that. Okay, thanks. <laughs> thanks, E. <laughs> See ya. Oh. I always say, I, I need that film. <laughs> I need to like replay that 24-7. Did you play that? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I will cherish that.